Smells Like 90s Rock presents the Ollie Report, a segment dedicated to extremely professional and hard-hitting journalism. Reports on headlines straight off the news ticker through the eyes of Ollie. And now, the Ollie Report. Hello and welcome to the Ollie Report. I'm Hot Toddy. We are back for another great report this week. And believe it or not, Ollie is back here in Rocky Top, Tennessee. No, I'm not talking about the city formerly known as Lake City. No, I'm talking about good old Knoxville. That's right, he's here. He's actually right here on the UT campus. And he's going to give us a little sports update. That's right, today's report is about the tragic loss to Florida over the weekend. And we've got Ollie standing by at Neyland Stadium with stuff. Ollie... <laughs> How's it looking over there? Depressing as hell! I, oh, I know. A lot of people in uh, Knoxville are pretty upset about over the loss to Florida. I mean, this was really not supposed to happen, you know. I mean, you would have thought the football team died or something. Well, I guess in, in the eyes of, of Knoxvillians and Tennessee fans alike, it's just, it kind of feels that way. I mean, we were we were really supposed to win this game uh, in their eyes, you know, and uh, it didn't happen, and it, it, it just really hurts right now. Don't watch football! Really? I thought you were a big Tennessee fan. Love Tennessee! Don't watch football! Well, what do you watch? Championship chess play. Oh, I didn't know you were such an intellectual. And biscuit eating contest. Welcome back, buddy. Anyway, let's get back. Let's get right into it here. Now, um, with the loss of Florida, that brings our season to two and three. We are now having a losing season, having lost to Oklahoma, Georgia, and Florida respectively. And uh, this weekend is a bit of an easier game as we take on Chattanooga. Uh, what are Coach Jones's thoughts as we enter this weekend? There's no Yes, well, Ollie, it, it's not Saturday yet. You know, there's there's only people in there on Saturday. I see a lot of seats empty. There's a big screen up there. Hey, isn't our logo on that? Uh, well, well, yeah, it, it is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the current Smells Like 90s Rock logo is the word Smells Like 90s Rock on the Jumbotron. It, it, it's to make it look like it was on the Jumbotron. But Smells Like 90s Rock was never on the Jumbotron, uh, Ollie. It was just it was uh, something we put together to make it look like it was. I can't help but feel you're judging me a little bit. Not at all. Uh-huh. Listen, let me tell you a few things. Ollie report! All right, fine. We'll we'll talk about this later, all right? But anyway, no, it didn't actually happen. Get back to the game. But just get back to the report. Ollie, have you spoken to Coach Jones about this week's game against Chattanooga? I see people walking. There's a plane going over. Ollie, stick to the story. Have you? Never mind. Have you spoken to any of the players about how they feel about going into the Chattanooga game? Well, okay, yes, we are playing Kentucky in a few weeks. That's not really what I wanted to get into with you, but all right, let's talk about that. Do they feel confident enough that they will take on Kentucky and win successfully? Hot! Oh, I'm, I don't want, no, I'm not even going to ask. No, I, I don't, I don't want to know. myself! Ollie, damn it! Listen, I'm done with this. I want some answers. Have you spoken to any, any of the coaches, any of the players, any of the staff of the University of Tennessee football team? No! God! Ah! All right. Fine. Fine. Have you spoken to any of the fans about how they feel the path of the football team is going, as well as Butch Jones? Cats and dogs! Don't you dare say it! Don't you dare say it! No. No. No, 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 no. I want you to get in your car. My car won't start! All right, what, what do I got to do? What do we got to do? Do I need to... You're at you're at the stadium, right? You know, I'm just right across the street from you. I do, do I need to just go over there and just uh, lead you to Coach Jones's uh, uh, office, or you know, lead you to the locker room, or just pull you towards somebody, a fan of the University of Tennessee, to get you to speak with them and get this week's report? Is that what I got to do? Is I'll be happy to walk right up and just hand you over to somebody because I'll just be happy to do it and I'll be Ollie I'll report. Shut up. I'm trying to do the Ollie Report, and you're the one who's not doing the Ollie Report. I mean, my God, we've been, we've been doing this for since February. You realize it's since February, and we have not had a good story at all from the very beginning. You realize that? Do you realize that? Ollie? Ollie, where are you? Listen closely, Hot Toddy. That's the spirit of Big Orange Country that will always survive no matter what loss comes upon us. Coach Jones and the team are ready for Chattanooga. They're ready for Alabama. They're ready for Kentucky. They're ready for Missouri. They're ready for Vanderbilt. They're going to take it all the way to the White House in Washington, (laughs) D.C. UT football, bitches. I think this is the greatest report we've ever done. I love you. Station! That's going to do it for the Ollie Report this week. Tune in next time for another headline ripped from the Ollie News Ticker. Until then, have a good day and an Ollieful week.